Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc's Dumpster, where it's a review of the movie, I'll Be Home for Christmas. This one's about a kid named Jake, who's a college student, who is asked to come home to spend Christmas with his family in New York. Well, he's not really 100% sure about wanting to do it, since his mom died and his dad remarried shortly after. But his dad says that if he gets to be home on Christmas Eve by 6 p.m., he'll get a Ferrari. Well, Jake changes his mind in a real fast moment, and he decides to try and bring along his girlfriend, Allie. Well, things don't go quite well when, when Eddie, Jake's arch nemesis, gets his goons to basically get uh, Jake to dress up in a in a Santa outfit and leave him out in the middle of the desert. So now Jake has a few days to try and get home to his family and, of course, claim his Porsche. So along the way, he is he meets a lot of very interesting people. He, he, um, he meets up with a simple-minded thief, a police officer who wants to win his wife back, and he winds up getting up. On, he winds up getting on a bus with a cooler with a slab of meat in it that says it's, it, that in which he tries to tell everybody he's trying to get it to a sick girl in a hospital, but he uses his girlfriend's name to write across top of it in crayon. Well, he winds up finding out that uh, Allie and Allie and Eddie were kissing on TV, and he gets upset about it. So he goes to a hotel room and he finds out where they are. And he confronts him about it, and it turns out it was all supposed to be just for a TV camera that was filming people kissing under the mistletoe. Allie finds out the truth about, about why Jake wants to get home, so she winds up taking a bus back home. And Eddie winds up getting giving uh, Jake a ride until he decides, you know what, I don't want to take you all the way back because he wanted Allie for himself. So he tosses Jake out. Jake winds up participating in a Santa marathon, or, or at least a Santa run in which he wins the race and thinks he's going to get himself enough money to get back home. But it turns out the race was supposed to be won by the mayor of the town where he was at. So he winds up giving the money back to the mayor because the mayor wants to spend the money on the people who are needy, who are in need of turkeys and stuff like that. He calls his sister. She winds up getting him a ticket to get back to New York. problem is that Jake can't get to New York on the plane because he has no ID. So he winds up uh, <laughs> going on carry-on carry luggage with a dog in a, in a big kennel. He winds up getting back to New York and meets up with Allie, apologizes for everything, and of course early in the movie she says, even if you showed up at my house in a one-horse open sleigh, I would not forgive you, and well, you can pretty much guess what he did to try and get her back. All's forgiven. He shows up at the house a minute before 6 o'clock, but decides to knock on the door at 6.01. His dad says, well, I'm going to give you the Porsche anyway. Jake says, no, thank you. He accepts his stepmom. They all get up in the, uh, in the sleigh that he stole from a parade and wind up joining the parade. And the movie ends on a happy note, I guess. The movie stars Jonathan Taylor Thomas, Jessica Biel, and Gary Cole. And it's from Disney of all places. But the big question is, gang, does I'll Be Home for Christmas does long, does I'll Be Home for Christmas deserve to be put into a dumpster? Yeah. This is a movie that when I saw the trailer for it, I thought to myself, okay, some smart alecky kid uh, winds up paying the price, and he has to try and trek across America, trek, trek, trek across ca from California to New York. Okay, that's all right, that's fine. And he wants to get home for Christmas because that's the title of the movie. He wants to be home with his family. But then when you watch the movie and you realize he's really kind of doing it for a car, you don't feel for Jake at all. I mean, yes, he tries to do some nice things along the way, but ultimately you really feel like we all know why he's doing this. You don't want to root for him. In fact, you kind of hope he does fail, and in some ways he kind of does. And there's really a lot about this movie that was just not in any way, shape, or form any kind of fun. And this is a movie that was another one of Jonathan Taylor Thomas's biggest bombs. Let me read off to you some of the movies he's been in. Um, of course, being in Lion King, huge hit, almost made a billion dollars at the box office. Uh, Man of the House was a moderate hit with Chevy Chase. 
Tom and Huck was a bomb. The Adventures of Pinocchio, bomb. Wild America, bomb. I woke up early the day I died, bomb. I reviewed that one some time ago. This one, of course, bomb. And Speedway Junkie, straight to video. Wow. <laughs> He did several Disney, Disney movies, and most of them bombed, except, of course, I'll be home for uh, Lion King and and uh, Man of the House. But <sighs> how do you feel about I'll be home for Christmas? Let me know in the comments below. But there you guys have it, a review of this really bad movie starring Randy from Home Improvement. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. And if you've got a movie that... That doesn't need to be home for Christmas, but it really belongs in the dumpster. Send it my way and I'll get on it ASAP. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. And until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.